Um, I just want to show you these beautiful baubles we are going to be making. I um, I love baubles and I love I love decorate them in some way to make them a little bit more decorative to I, I, I do love more of a modern um, twist on them we have done these ones and they are available still on the website um, the netted ones at the back these are quite quick and easy to do um, you kind of like run around them and add um, add your acrylic beads or crystal beads or pearl beads and adding the little tassels right at the bottom now then i love really really love these and this is the ones i'm going to be showing to you today which is a netted one with bugles i do think bugles are so underused like we sh we could you will, will this be Oh, let me just move things about. I didn't really think this through. Well, what I'm going to do with my forest here, I don't want to move it off completely. If I leave it there, I think that that, that shall be fine. Um, and we're going to get going. Now, I'm going to show you what we have got on our website because Simon has given us a beautiful offer today. It's three for two, but it's only until the end of the weekend. So if you like the look of the baubles, then uh, be quick because end of the weekend it will be gone so like it's like 33 percent off three for two um right okay so gonna pop over to the website let me just get the right window up here and i'm gonna show you what we have so we had we have got silver and gold and that's the one which is made up but you can make these up in any color into video tutorials. I'm going to click into this big button here and land straight on the page. Um, I love the headbands, what Natalie was doing on Wednesday, such a quick and easy make and really effective. Right, netted Christmas baubles today. Now, just to put you in perspective, so one kit, one kit will make you three this size bauble, large baubles. These are six. 60 mil I always I look at it and then I have to very quickly gonna measure it so I'm not telling you um yeah 60 mil baubles or it's gonna you're gonna make like smaller ones much much more small ones depending on how small you go they are like there are little even little tiny ones you can get on the um you can get them in, in in the shops so the smaller you go the more you're gonna make with the small ones you can make about 18 of them from the same kit so it depending on what size you go right we've got loads and loads of lovely lovely colors here now you can we got some little um baubles and i'm going to show you this ones and i have i got an empty one um, maybe I grab it from the cupboard but you can fill these baubles with something and they are really great one to have have as well and you can then net over them so okay the we got the usual suspect colors <laughs> we got gold we got aqua we got gold diamond um, which is this I usually call it black diamond as well because it's got that beautiful gray inside it we got a grape we got hematite we got iris brown we got mauve we got nebula we got purple we got tanzanite we got teal and silver now which one do you want me to demo with do let me know in the comments which color do you want me to demo with uh, we already got loads of samples of the silver and the gold one so i am looking to do one of the other colors so do let me know which one shall we demo so your choice is teal um, black diamond gold diamond grape hematite iris brown mauve nebula purple tanzanite or teal i'm going to pop them out in the in my mat just in a sec and then we will have a little race down to we could even mix two colors together because of what what you get in the kit so um let me let me come the um back down and we're gonna go let, let me come back to uh, stop sharing my screen and go straight down on the table because what we can actually do so as you can see the seed beads and the bugle beads are the same color but in fact we could mix the two colors together and I think that would look really good I haven't tried that one actually so we could even even mix two colors together um, the all sorts of different things right okay so I'm just gonna I'm gonna zoom out and then Oh, it's right under my forest here the colors so I am going to pop these out 
Right, go back up. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I didn't say um, good morning. If Good morning separately to everybody, but good morning. I'm so, so happy to see all you are here. Right, shall we go? I, I really want to sort of get into the demo like in, in a couple of minutes to, to make sure we can finish. So, move. Um, Leanne is saying. Till, and he's saying. I'm just going to put my little pots on there. Can, can, can't see the top, but um, if I turn it like that, will this, will this see it better? Yeah, if I turn it like that, you will see it better. Um, Ilan is saying purple. <laughs> so much beautiful choices, Charlotte, I need one color. Grape is my favorite. Grape, please. So grape's got two. Teal, please. Purple and black. I haven't got black. I got hematite or nebula. So you need to. <laughs> Charlotte is saying teal. Gray, please. I know you're saying nebula. I love. That's a really dark blue. It's a beautiful color. Mauve. Grape. I think the grape mix it. Yeah, we're gonna mix it. <laughs> we're gonna mix the two one. Grape with silver, please. Yeah, that would look good as well. Grape with silver. Mauve with teal. So we got mauve. Yeah, that those two would look nice together as well. Pink and teal? Or pink and aqua? Pink and teal. Pink and teal would look nice as well grape the grape one so we're gonna to have to do the grape mauve um teal i just want to see which one is would be the second one good morning everybody teal with hematite then yeah that would look really good as well mauve with silver so mauve is that one blue Right, right at the top that's coming down as well teal with silver so we got the grape and the teal so shall we mix these two together this was the, the two colors what you liked the most so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna mix those two together so let's get the seed beads i think it's gonna look good it's gonna be a um a very colorful one and probably if you put this add this on on a silver bauble what bauble have i got here i grabbed a couple of baubles i got <laughs> i got a pink bauble maybe it will be nice on that one and all the other ones are the smaller ones so i only remembered last night <laughs> probably about half past nine right after the beat club that i need to i need i need to go and do um i, I need some baubles <laughs> and they in the loft and it was in the garage and it was like so dark there that i was like i just have to rummage around the house what what bubbles can i find so i haven't i haven't got all of them down yet i don't know when is it when is it acceptable to get your christmas decorations down is it has have anybody anybody got their christmas decoration down or up yet um, I'm, I'm in Dan, Dan from the loft. But um, has, has anybody started to put the Christmas decorations up yet? Please do let me know. If you got your Christmas decks up. I think for me, like the weather just have to turn, just have to turn a little bit, a little bit cooler. But we have been having the fire on quite a few times and that's that, that's been nice right so all we're gonna need we're gonna need needle we're gonna need thread we're gonna need our size 11 seed beads and we're gonna need our bugle beads i'm gonna come i'm gonna come and zoom in i'm gonna get to my beads arm chris is saying my neighbor has had her decorations up for a week now wow well you see my jumper this morning when I was getting ready and I was looking at my jumpers because you like you need to get them out of the cupboard now and um, I was looking at my jumper and I was like can I 
should I? And I was like, well, I am doing a Christmas project, so <laughs> I am left. Okay, so this bauble is going to take quite a lot of thread. So, actually, shall we make a bigger one or shall we make a smaller one? Might go with a smaller one, so we might be able to finish it as well. So I'm going to start by picking up one bugle and one seed. And I am going to take this down. I'm going to suspend this in my hand. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Let me bring that over. There we go. And I did this again every single time. I like dumped the seed beads right in front of me. And then I put my hand over it. And then I can't pick up the seed beads. Let's move these over to the side. You know what beads we are using. So I put on one bugle, one seed. And I'm going to come back through the bugle. So I'm just going to trap the seed bead on the end. And then I'm going to pick up the following pattern. I'm going to pick up one seed bead, one bugle bead, one seed bead, one bugle bead, alternate them all the way down, finish with a seed bead until you have got eight more bugle beads on there. So overall with this one, which you already have here, you need nine, you need an uneven number. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. The instructions will take you through what size do you need for what. Right, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. Nine. Oh, I think this is going to look good, these two colors together. So don't forget. Um, this three for two until the end of the end of the weekend until uh, until Sunday night. Um, so like you know, instead of fifteen pound, you're gonna get it for ten pounds. So do do go ahead and have a check that out on the website. Right, I'm right at the bottom. I'm gonna ignore this last seed bead I added, and I'm gonna come through the bugle and the seed, and just pull this up nice and tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up one bugle, one seed, one bugle. And I'm going to miss one bugle, one seed, one bugle, the, exactly the same what I have just picked up and go through the seed bead above it, just the seed bead. And these, the, the new beads just going to sit side by side, the ones I have got already on there. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up another bugle, seed, bugle. Again, I'm going to miss what I picked up and go through the next one, just like that. And all the way to the top. So always bugle, seed, bugle, miss what I just picked up. There we go. Now, I'm right at the top. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to turn around on myself. So I'm going to pick up a bugle, seed bugle, what I always pick up. And I'm going to pick up an extra seed bead so I can turn around. Because we need that seed bead right at the top so we can turn around. Taking these down. And I'm going to turn my work. And I'm going to ignore this last seed bead I added. And I'm going to come through the bugle and the seed. So that last seed bead, just anchoring everything, stopping the thread to go through and holding everything in place. Make sure if you pull it through and you, the th your thread is showing up that you pull it right down. So you've got a nice and tight finish there. And now you can see as we're going to be going back down on ourselves. So I'm going to pick up the same over and over again, bugle, seed, bugle. And I'm gonna miss what I picked up. So I'm gonna miss the bugle, seed, bugle, and go into the second seed. And as you can see this time, our very are connecting our beads up is gonna be a different row or different number of seed bead than the one before. And that's how we're creating this net effect. And I'm going all the way there. Make sure it doesn't jump over your thread. Let me go backwards and forwards a couple of times. 
we will there we go and going through this one here and then I'm right at the end again so I'm gonna turn around now if you wanted to make a larger bobble then you do need to have more than nine beads on there but the instructions will take you through everything right so bugle seed bugle seed because I'm right at the end I'm gonna take these down again I'm gonna turn and then go through the bugle and seed just like that and I'm gonna do quite a few rows make sure this is nice and tight and then we can join the end and the beginning together Rachel is saying, ordered oh, mine, fab deal, and looking forward to making them. Like, uh, I love these because, you know, we got, got so or so many, like, well, one, I got a Christmas ornament that somebody made for me a long, long, long time ago. And every single time when Christmas come around, I, um, I see the ornament and it's like the person is in your heart. So... It's really nice to make somebody something for Christmas. Like, you know, we, we all kind of like pressured to to buy something for somebody for Christmas. And, and I find it quite stressful sometimes, like, like trying to think of what the other person would like. And like, you know, and then, then you like for, for a closer family, perhaps, you know, if they want something and, and, and then like, you know, end up buying like for other members of the family or friends you don't know you end up buying um a bottle of wine or chocolate or uh, deodorants or like not deodorants but like you know smellies that's that's uh, another another one another popular one and um and, and it's fine like you know like everybody can do what they want but i think when you give the gift of your time and when you make something up that is what you're doing it's not even the material side of it that how much did it cost to make that bubble up it's your time you taken the time you sat there and you made that that thing for that person and i think that is so beautiful to to do something like that and with christmas decoration especially and i've been doing i i, I made poinsettias for my friends um on reefs i made candle holders i made so many different little christmas decorations for my friends and as well and I, I think it's just really really beautiful so something like this even though like you might buy the bauble in from any places range home bargains b ms or but i don't know any 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 home department stores um you adding something to it like you know are you adding your time you're adding your expertise your patience your love and i think that is just so so beautiful um lucy's saying love this color together i quite like it as well and I, now i wish i would have made it bigger because i think it would have looked really nice on a dark pink bauble but um it's gonna have to be a small one so it's gonna be going on going on this one i think it will look nice on this one as well so we will be fine it will be good right so i'm turning around i'm gonna have to go backwards and forwards until i have about 17 i think on the i'm just counting the spikes on the top so i'm gonna go backwards and forwards i'm picking up a bugle seed bugle and if you just joined us we are doing some netted Christmas baubles we are using bugle beads and I love bugle beads they are so underused and I think we should use them more because they are they create really beautiful patterns and since it's November now <laughs> we are creating Christmas decorations I love this as well like Christmas is the favorite time of year for me it's not and it's not because the presents or the food like it's nice to nice to have nice presents and nice to eat loads of nice food but it's it's always there is so much making around christmas there is so much hands on like every single year we do some new decorations and put it up and it's just really great to i love love christmas 
right so i'm just very i'm gonna be speeding up with my beading now so going backwards and forwards adding this on so i can zip it up for you and show you we kind of like making a sleeve and then we're going to sew the top and the bottom together really easy pattern very very easy one to do even if i had to put it down and come back and continue it i don't need to look at anything i know what i'm doing and sometimes doing patterns like this is just i just love it because i can go and sit and watch tv with the children or do anything and i'm just carrying on and doing it turning it around i'm miss gonna miss that seed bead go to the bugle and the seed and pull this up nice and tight and then i'm down picking up bugle seed bugle all the way down let me know in the comments if you have done christmas decorations what christmas decoration or what christmas decoration are you planning to do this year do let me know please There we go. So third Mina is asking how many baubles, um, how many bugle beads for 30 meter baubles? Sorry, I had to make a work call. So this one, and I'm gonna grab my ruler back out. This one is 40 mil, I think. Yeah, so this one is 40 mil. So the 30 mil would be a little bit smaller than this one. This one is 30 mil, I think yeah there we go and this one got seven on it one two three four five six nine nine one two three four five six seven eight nine so that one has got nine that one has got seven so it's, it's up to you if you want to take them all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom or you are just want to add like a little decoration in the middle if you wanted to you could do just five and then then that would be just a band in the middle that one has got seven on it as well so this one can you see the difference so this one has got a bigger cap so you would not be able to put nine on there but because this has got a smaller cap at the top we are able to add a nine on there um, all together so with the nine i'm going to put this on this 40 mil ball I'm just going to keep going and adding my rows quickly. And I'm going to come and catch up with you all in the... Lucy's saying it's all okay here. Click add them black in and it's mine. It's fine now. All is fine. Oh, Rachel, I'm not going to read this out. It's one of them. You, will, you all of you make me smile and, and, and um, laugh. Is it the internet or does Kitty keep freezing for anyone else? Lucy thinks she's going to hunt for bugle beads. <laughs> sleeping in is like, I, I, I don't know what sleeping in like either. See you on me both, Camille. Right, bugle, seed, bugle, seed as we write at the end, and we're going to turn around. So what you're trying to do, so it doesn't you don't even have to measure your bauble, I guess, but what you're trying to do is, and I'm I've got a few rows here now, so if you add this onto your bauble, so I don't know how well you can see it. When we pull this apart, the ends are going to come in a little bit. So if you put it on your bauble and it's from the middle, goes all the way to the top, then once we pull it on and we open up this beautiful netting, it's going to be a, ti a tiny bit smaller. Not too much, but it's a tiny bit smaller. All right, then I'm going to go backwards and forwards quickly. Hello from New York. Susan is saying 5.26 a.m. That's really early. Good morning to you. That reminds me, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. Tracy is saying, when I covered a 30 millilitre bauble, I used 9 
times nine, nine um, bugles, 17 times. So when you count at the bottom, it would be 17. But then you don't just have to, ha to think about this. You don't just have to do this for, um, or, or that, you can do this for only, but you could do it for oval shapes because bobos doesn't just come in round. You could do it for anything. If you wanted to, you could do this for a bottom of a candle. Or, and you know, it's just, just a little netting, little decoration, little intricate detail. And then coming back up. Susan is saying it's raining. It's quite overcast here as well, but it's not. I haven't been outside today, so I don't know if it's if it's cold. Sometimes I wish I had a dog because then I would have to go outside every single day, every morning to walk dog. And then I would know. I guess I could just walk myself, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Paul is saying very dark here. Um, Carol think I like the candle idea. Yeah, you could put this around. Like imagine if this was the base of the candle, you could put it around a candle. You could put it around anything. If you wanted to, you could put it around your Christmas cake. But obviously you had to remove it before you eat it. <laughs> it is just a decoration. You could put it on anything you like. Grows quite quickly as well. Oh, thank you so much for the stars, Charlotte. Really appreciate it. I think we will be spending some of the stars tonight or tomorrow with Natalie. We're going to go up to, I keep seeing the new cocktail bar and it's opened like six months ago now, but I've never been. So we're going to go up for a, for a drink with Natalie. So we're going to spend some of those stars tonight. So thank you so much. Maybe tonight or tomorrow night. We see she's coming down today. We will be up to so many things. We got to sort out the 12 days of Christmas, which is coming with all sorts of, I already got, like it's, it's only for 12 days. We need 12 ideas, we need 12 projects, but I already got like 30 of them I want to do. So maybe we need to do, I don't know, 30 days of Christmas. That doesn't really sound right, does it? I want to do a couple, two or three rings. I want to do, oh, so many different things. Oh, Ruth is saying, I have to go out to the chickens every day. We used to have chickens a long, long time ago. I love them. They're so cute. And you get the fresh eggs absolutely every single day. Bless them. Lucy saying, I'm excited for 12 days. Yeah, me too. I was like, I got so much going on and I was like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. So we're going to put our little heads together with Natalie and we're going to come up with loads of goodies to do like different makes, different things. Some of them going to be like, you will be able to make more than one thing with it. Like with rings, I think we might do like different colors and different bits and I'm talking too much. I'm telling you too much about it now. Do you see, see the two Sarahs? Um, yeah, I actually, I was just talking to Sarah Payne. Um, I don't know what day it was the other day. She's doing very well. Um, she's got to, she's having some more checks and hoping, she's hoping to have surgery on her arm. So she's like, full steam ahead with loads of projects and loads of you know you know her she's on tally a lot and just keeping really busy um sarah Millsop, i am um, I, I do talk to her quite often as well i meet i'm going to meet up with her some point in december start of december i think and um i don't know what the, uh, um maybe the first weekend of december 
I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know the dates, but um, we're going to meet up with her. She's doing better as well. She's really, really busy with craft body, doing loads of things on TV again. And just like, you know, family and everything. Everybody's everybody's just busy. I think we thought last year we're never going to get busier. And life just sort of, as we slowly kind of are returning to normal and doing other bits of pieces as well, everybody's just really busy. I mean, I can't believe it's like a middle of November now and the year is only just started for me <laughs> like I'm only just got used to like writing down like you know when you have to write a date on a paperwork and for the first like month or so you keep still wanting to write the previous year's date like for me this year I, I keep wanting to write previous years like 2020 on loads of things for a long time so only just got used to writing 2021 and then 2021 will be over very soon so went very very quickly this year went really quick we, you could turn a 12 days of uh, christmas into an advent calendar we could and there was an idea for that before we did the 12 days of christmas we did toy with the idea to do an advent calendar but if you like me or like you know any other crafty person before christmas we are really busy like busy trying to find all the presents and wrapping them all up and decorating the house and ordering food and making sure we got everything and and all, bef all before that like i like to do and go through the kids bedrooms and just um maybe selectively get rid of some bits of pieces <laughs> what they haven't used for ages and like go through the house and have like a really deep clean before christmas so really really busy before christmas always really really busy and and like you know and and like if you go out or, or if you're working somewhere you got your um work parties and and all sorts of different bits of pieces happening so for me um before christmas like even if i wanted to do something i would not have time to do it but what happens and like i run around so much before christmas i do all of these things then christmas day comes we open up all the presents or the kids open their presents we open their, our presents um and then i go and put christmas dinner on and cook christmas dinner and after that we play some games with the kids and have some really nice time and then boxing day comes <laughs> and i come down in the morning and i'm like now what <laughs> what are we doing now <laughs> like you know there is no more running around there's no more anything now like you know what what can i do now and obviously we're still off and we still got the kids and we're still like you know spending time with them and doing things together but i get the itchy hand feeling that i just want to sit down and i just want to create and just want to play with something so that's why we we have started to do like we, we did 12 days of christmas last year because i think um you know uh, but correct me if i'm not or, or let me know if you, if in your household is the same manic before christmas as mine but i think after christmas it's just really nice to look something to do after christmas like starting on boxing day rather than the, the whole like running up to it and then and 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 then nothing so that that, that was the reason behind it so that's why we did 12 days of christmas I have got other ideas in the bag, so <laughs> in the bank, as they say, but um, just need time. I just need a time machine so I can go back and do all the things I want to do. There's never enough time. Oh, so you're saying she used to get all her packages um, delivered to work? Oh, well, Mina Senkarivka just got delivered to work. Yeah, loads of stuff I get delivered to work as well because somebody's always there. So he's saying we could keep going until Candlemas or Lord's presentation in the Temple of 2nd of February and have 40 beating days of Christmas. Ooh, that sounds good. Maybe one year we need to do that. Nice to do something. Yes, N N Lorna just hit it right on the head. Nice to do something 
for yourself after the Christmas nush, absolutely. But then, like, you know, your makes, you can give some of them away. Right, how many have we got? Because I keep on chatting and I haven't kept in track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need a few more. Could this pattern work for an egg shape? Absolutely. It would work for an egg shape. It would work for an oval. It would work because what you're creating, can you see like how much is that stretching? And then we're going to pull the ends in. So if you are, if I'm putting it around more of a cylinder or an oval shape, what I would have to do is just add more seed beads in at the end. It would work for, for any shape. Well, I'm not saying any shape. It wouldn't work for a star, I guess, but <laughs> you could work around it. had to work it for a star. But it's just a beautiful, really easy one, easy make. Right, so I'm just going to keep going up. So tell me in the comments, what is your favorite Christmas make? What's your favorite Christmas make you have been making or made? Um, you know, it doesn't have to be now. It could be a long time ago. Please let me know in the comments. What is your favorite Christmas make? What is the all all time favorite what you have made? If I think about it for me, like it's really, I don't know. I, I really loved doing the little Christmas beaded Christmas trees. They they were great. I and and the candle holders probably those two I would say is my favorite. But then I do something else and I like that as well. So. I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to choose. What is yours? What's your favorite? Christmas tree, Charlotte is saying, yeah, they, they're great as well. I love making the light holders, Susan is saying. Just made my first Christmas wreath and table decoration with French wire flowers. Wow, that should, that, that probably looks fantastic. Um, Lucy saying she really loved doing the, the beaded reefs this week. Yes, Lucy, I seen the picture in the handmade group that you have been a busy bee doing all sorts of different colors. They all looked fantastic. Um, so you think, as Kitty said, there was always someone there, plus hubby used to do shifts, so I meant he didn't get woken up or have to go off to back to the beyond and pick up parcel. Yeah, that's uh, sending your, well, whatever you order on the internet to work. Jenny saying, my favorite Christmas is the Swarovski icicle. So we have got, we may or may not, um, I cannot confirm nor deny, <laughs> we got icicles coming in a couple of weeks as well. Icicles, stars, snowflakes, reefs and French beaded trees, Victoria is saying. The poinsettia was good as well, I enjoyed that and I made some for friends as well. There we go. I think I need about three more rows. Lucy saying last year she enjoyed making the candle holders. I think every year, like if you do something different. Lorna is saying she loved making the poinsettias in the bead club last year. And poinsettias, Sarah is going coming. Sarah will be back on Monday and for the facebook live and she's going to be doing the poinsettias with us here and on on that note um actually i need to okay simon asked me to do, to tell you but i keep um i keep forgetting um when i'm live um you know the poppy we did with sarah and we said like from after every single um sale we are going to donate a pound to the poppy appeal. So Simon made a donation of you donation and you donated a hundred pound to to them last week. So thank you for every single one of you who purchased that kit. 
because part of it went to a very good cause. Well, I need to count how many have I got. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I still need a few more. I would like to do a Christmas rose, Victoria is saying. Is a Christmas rose different from a normal rose? I never really... What, what, why is a Christmas... Victoria, tell us why is a Christmas rose... Um. Like we, 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 as many, I guess, people out there, we all have got all sorts of different um, traditions. We have got our own traditions, then we have traditions what we pick up. We have got traditions what we have got since childhood. So do let me know, Victoria, what, what, what's, what, what's a Christmas rose? I haven't heard of that one. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try this on quickly and see, and I might grab one of those small ones. Might pull this up nice and tight. So I'm just gonna try it over this, and actually I wanna grab out. So as I'm pulling it apart, can you see that it's opening up? If I let it go, the netting will shut in. And what you want, you want enough rows so the netting opens up. You don't want to pull it apart too much, but you want the netting to open up um, nicely just like that. Bear with me one second and I'm going to grab one of these out of the cupboard. I think I got one. And the silver bowl but this one is a little bit smaller so these ones the little ones which this this one's added on the website as well so there is two sides to them so when you get them they're going to be two half a sides and you can put all sorts of different things in them i have added um sequins in this one I have just added some glitter in this one just to sort of add a color behind it. Um, where is another one? Well, oh, there's glitter and uh, there is a sequence in the other one as well. So you can add all sorts of different bits of pieces in there. You can just add some seed beads and um, I'm just going to scoop what color. I'm going to add some of these darker purple in there just to sort of demonstrate you that how will it look like and then I'm going to pop these together so these little bubbles are on the website separately as well and once you pop them together that's it it's not going to come apart it's quite nice and tight and then you can add your netting on the top of this so I think the 11 rows will that be enough for this pull this up nice and tight can be a little bit slippery so I need another I would say another four rows and we're gonna put it on that one so I'm gonna have to put my speedy beater hat on <laughs> and very quickly beat these four rows up so I can show you how to zip it up and then we will have a beautiful little bauble ready. So do check out these baubles because you could add all sorts of different things in them. Little memory bits as well, not just, you know, anything you wanted to add in it. <laughs> Susan is saying, don't add chocolates because you won't be able to get it out again. Absolutely. That, that would be like... If you had a chocolate, that would be like your emergency chocolate. Like, you know, for, or sometimes when you, they put things behind glass to, like, you know, emergency, you don't know, this or that or whatever. And um, 
you have to cut the whole thing up to get to the chocolate. But then if you had it for quite a few years, probably the chocolate would go off anyway, so you wouldn't want to get it out. It's like a time capsule in there. Whatever goes in there stays in there. I just need to move my needle. Um, ah, Susan, yes, absolutely right. She says, eat the chocolate first and then put the wrappers in the baubles. I mean, that, that makes sense. So I think, yeah, we could do that up 100%. I mean, you need energy to do this, all these projects, so you might as well eat the chocolate, don't you? <laughs> um, could you put some clear glue to the inside so the beads would just stick to the bubble? Yeah, you could do that as well. So add a dab of glue and then as you would sort of shake your bag, the glue would stick the beads to the side. But there is no glue in with the glitter one and the glitter has stuck to the sides as well right let's keep going with this one and all the way to the top so every single time, and if you just joined us, we are doing a netted Christmas bubble. Very easy technique, quite relaxing. Grows fairly quickly. You can do all sorts of different sizes of baubles. The baubles are three for two. The kits are three for two on the website. So instead of 15 pound, they work at 10 pound each, which is an amazing discount. But some Simon said like oh what about doing this and I said no 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 we need a good discount <laughs> yesterday you need, you need to give us a good deal so it's like oh what about that I said no 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 you need to give us a good deal so I was like okay if I do three for two it's like oh that'd be amazing and um, he said okay but then I, and it's only until the end of end of Sunday so you have to have to order it over the weekend to take advantage of it so one kit will make you we'll do three of this normal size bauble which is um they're 60 mils or we'll do like 18 small ones so there is a lot of beads in there there's a lot of bugles and there is a lot of seed beads and these are toho toho ones which we know that toho ones are really good quality and sometimes when you do something like this so if i had bugle beads which they weren't the same size um you know your netting wouldn't look as even and as pleasing to the eye so you need need good quality ones with these ones so I'm just going back. Feathers, to remember a loved one, Sharon is saying. Um, been thinking to use craft seed beads might work, yeah. So almost there. So we've got one, two, three, four. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think I'm going to go up, down and, and up. So we need to end up with the opposite ends. With our, before we zip it up. Every time I'm just picking up a bugle, seed bugle. Go to the second seed. Unless if I'm at the end, then I'm picking up a bugle, seed, bugle, seed. And then I'm turning around. you could make like really you could do all sorts of different things i mean even if you did something like this would look really nice if you made like resin coasters and set them into resin i love geometric shapes and how they would work out i'm gonna go down and then we're gonna try it onto the bubble How does it fit? There we go. Last one to add. So I'm going to turn around. I'm 
missed that last seed bead come to the bugle and seed pull this up nice and tight right okay let's try on there how is it going to is it big enough so i'm just going to pop this on the bottom and i'm going to pull both sides so they are almost like i need i reckon because when you pull this up it's going to be tighter i need to go up and down one more times and that will be the right size but you can like you don't have to have an eggs up you can always do like one more if you do one more row it's still going to look beautiful so you don't have to worry about so much that's what's the great thing about netting that because it's got this give and take in there that it's a really great one to do now when you're picking up your bugle beads maybe you find and I, I can't see one <laughs> one in a hundred i can't see what on not, none in, in in my pile here and we've been beating quite a bit but you might have one which is a little one which is a tiny bit shorter to just put that to the side and use it for something else i haven't got any in this in my pile but just in case and if you're working with different bugle beads and different qualities just make sure that you pick up similar ones Right, and we're gonna go down and I think that will be the right size or maybe one more row let me see um, what if you got granddaughters to paint polystyrene balls when dry could do the nothing around them absolutely you could do all sorts of different things like you could get the whole family involved really and do all sorts of different bits of pieces and like you don't you don't even have to have so if she painted the bauble i i probably wouldn't put the netting all the way around what i would do i would have the netting like a row in the middle going around so you can see loads of the painting on the top and loads of the painting on the bottom that's what i would do but then all sorts of different things you could do with it like if she for example if she painted it as a christmas pudding then you could just do like a row in the middle and that would look fantastic right let's have a look let's have a try might add one more row just so it's easy and doesn't pull too much right I don't know i think it's gonna be good right we're good so we're gonna zip it up zip up one side with the other side so what we're gonna do is as you can see and what i can put inside of here so you can see it better um something smaller i got my lipstick that 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 will do <laughs> so we're gonna zip up one side with the other side and what we need to do as you can see we have got some some like sort of one bugle is missing all the way down so as i'm coming out of here let me just turn it around so you see the black more as i'm coming out of here i need to connect i need to go down to the next seed bead here so i'm going to pick up one bugle bead so this is my working end this is my tail and that's when i started so i'm going jumping between from my working end to my tail end back to my working end back to my tail end all the way along so i picked up one bugle bead and look the sun just came out um i picked up one bugle bead and i'm going to go through so this is the the top one second and then the third one i'm going to go to this third one seed bead on the other side just like that and pull this up nice and tight oh what did i do i said pick up a bugle bead and i picked up a seed bead what's what's happening let's quickly take it back up and look it's happening to everybody it happens to me as well oh no it's friday so i'm gonna 
I'm going to forgive the mistake for myself. It's Friday. Very quickly going to take that seed bead off. I'm going to pop this back, pick up a bugle, and it's never happened, did it? Nobody's seen it. I didn't make a mistake, really. I just, I was testing, <laughs> testing if you pay attention. <laughs> right, bugle bead. And I picked up a bugle bead this time. It's going through that one. Then I'm going to pick up another bugle bead. Make sure it sits right. And this time we're going to sew back to the other side. So I'm going to go through this one. So it's one, two, three, the fourth one on the other side. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up another bugle bead. And I'm zipping back to my tail side. So again, I'm going to go through one, two, three, four, the fifth one. And then the next one on the other side. And each time, all I'm doing, I'm picking up a bugle. And can you see when I pull that tight, it's going to look like there's no end or no beginning to my pattern. And one more down. Make sure it doesn't get caught. Another one. I'm coming through the next one. There we go. Picking up another one. Going back through the other side. And there we go. And now I'm going to have to come pick up one and I'm going to go into towards my tail. All right, just going to pull through the seed bead and the bugle. But you can knot your tail and your beginning together if you like. And can you see as I'm pulling this up, everything is just pulling into shape. Like let's get rid of that lipstick. And now we have got to just try this out. We have got a nice little sleeve and look that just goes in there. So the next thing what we need to do is we need to sew the top and the bottom together. Now depending on what size are you doing. And Natalie's saying can you adjust the pattern for bigger baubles? Absolutely. So the kit will do you three big baubles or 18 small ones like or anything in between depending on what size um, you want you have got or you want to cover. So the next thing you have to do is you need to do the ends. Now you can see, and I'm going to bring this in, I can bring this bigger one in as well, that this is really just, um, you have to work this out by trial and error, I'm afraid. There isn't um, a quick fix to it, that how many seed, extra seed beads you need to add in between. So here, if you can see, I have got one seed bead in between uh, two and then there is no seed bead then there is two seed bead one seed bead one seed bead no seed beads one seed bead one seed beads no seed beads here we got two seed two seed beads one seed beads two seed beads one seed beads all the way around it be in between our ends here we have got um no seed beads one no seed beads one seed beads no seed beads one seed beads in between our ends um at the top here, look, there is no seed beads at all in between our um, our ends. So let, let's go and sew the top together. And then we can go down to the bottom and, um, and figure out how many we need to add in between. So what you need to do is to go through the seed bead right on the top. And then I'm just going to put my my finger in here to hold it nicely and all I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be catching these top seed beads and sewing them together so sewing these into a nice circle and I'm going to go all the way around just sewing these together pulling them into my lovely little circle every single one of them it doesn't matter which way you go through them they they will kind of turn the way they need to turn
There we go. Natalie's saying love making these. And they're saying me too, they're beautiful. Don't forget we've got 12 colours there. Right, I'm gonna pull that nice and tight. So can you see we've got like a bell shape right now so if you had like a bell shape a bubble it would be good for that as well so i'm actually i'm gonna go past and i'm gonna go through a few more beads so i'm away from when i started just reinforcing this a little bit just carry on maybe go around one more time fully sewing these beads together and then i'm gonna insert the bubble I'm going to weave my thread down to the other side. There we go. So we are past our tail. So I'm going to insert the bobble from the bottom. Make sure the tail is out of the way. I'm going to pull it all the way up. Can you see like how nicely that's sitting on there? Because it's like the netting. So I, I love this. I love the motion of it. Like when you push the netting onto your bubble, can you see like it just goes and fits. It's just really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weave my thread down to the bottom. Doesn't matter which one you follow, where you go down, just follow any old thread path you have created going all the way to the bottom. There we go. Going through the bugles and the seeds, you can go through more than one at the same time. Just getting to the bottom seed beads there. Now, we are gonna have to add something in between these ones. And when I get down, I, I will pull it together and show you what I mean. So if I just went around these and I haven't added any seed beads, I would have some some gaps. You would see the thread. I mean, you could do, and it's the bottom of the bauble. It's probably not that much of a, um, you know, not, not really going to see it that much, but I do like to kind of make it so it's, it's a nice circle. You want to pull this tight so it's like flexes over the bobble itself but you're going to have to add some between so at the top we didn't add any seed beads in between these ends but at the bottom here i'm going to add one seed bead then i'm going to go through one two ends. then i'm going to pick up another seed bead and i'm going to go through one two ends again and all the way around so we are filling the gaps and we are making a larger circle at the bottom here to house to make it into the right size now because you are have to work with uneven numbers overall going backwards and forwards to create your netted pattern uh, we picked up nine so we, we, we have we had nine bugles on our netting for this one if i picked up 11 it would have been too big so you kind of sometimes have to sacrifice a little bit and see a little bit more of the bottom to or the top so you have it nice how do you do a long fringe on the button so i didn't um do fringes for this one if you wanted you could do i would would be doing it coming out of these seed beads let me just sew them together and then i can show it to you you i would make a pattern probably would continue with the same like seed seed bugle seed bugle seed bugle and as long as you want to do it right and just coming through the last one there we go i'm pulling it nice and tight now if your if your circle is too big then it's kind of like will be away from the bauble if your circle is too small and then there is no not enough seed beads in between your ends you will be able to see the thread just like that so that's that's what we don't don't want to happen if your circle is just the right size when you pull it tight you it won't stand away from the bubble but you won't be able to see any thread puffs at all either so now i would go through a couple of times if i wanted to just to tighten it up as I go along and every single time and pull it through, I'm just pulling it a little bit tighter. 
And if you wanted to add fringe, this is where I would add it from, for the bottom. So I'm going to dangle the beads. I mean, you could add uh, crystal beads to the bottom, pearl beads, anything you really... What happened here? I think, yeah, there we go. Anything you like, you can add to decorate it. Just running around. Right, so if I wanted to add a fringe, I would just coming out of a seed bead there, I would pick up a seed bead, bugle, seed, bugle, seed, bugle, <laughs> seed, or whatever pattern. You might want to have bugles together and no seeds in them. It really is up to you what sort of pattern you want to do. You're going to finish with a seed bead on the end. You're going to take it all the way down. And then you're going to ignore the last seed bead. You're going to come back through all those beads up the last one. And then you're going to move along a couple of beads and do another one. Move along a couple of beads and do another one. And that's what you're going to do all the way all the way around. And then you will have some dangle beads. Don't forget there is an other um, bobble on the website as well. Do check that one out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it. And this one has got this one more netted. Um, a different way um, you're going to go around in circles in this one from start on the top and check this one out as well so if you're making bubbles this one's probably a little bit quicker but i really do love the look of that one and uh, try this thing so pretty um <laughs> can we saying i'm a bit late or oh, you can watch it back um on replay um when, when we finished we're just getting ready to sign off. I would do a fringe to disguise the bottom. Yes, you could do that as well. You could do all sorts of different things. You could add other beads on the top of it. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for every single one of you to coming and turning up. I really appreciate you um, watching me um, all the time. Right. So I hope you enjoyed it. A really easy make. Um, do, um, do let me know like what or send me pictures i always like i all keep missing everybody on 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 facebook but send me a picture so if you make one please do send me a picture so i can see um what you made and and i'm going to bring my tree back here well let's go back to the main i can bring my tree back here they hang perfectly as well so happy making and don't forget that the the kids are three for two up until sunday sunday night so do do take advantage of the offer so instead of 15 pound they work at 10 pound each and one i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put you on earth or i'm gonna put this one i'm not gonna put, I'm gonna put it here um one kit will make you three of those obviously the bubbles are not supplied you have to have your own bubbles but it will make you recover three of those beads i really love the look of it sort of like a modern look where did i get the three piece I think this one came from the range. Um, if you go into, I don't know about the Colchester one net, but if you go into the Clacton one, as you go in, it's on the left hand side on the top of the shelf. <laughs> oh, Louis is joining us from USA. Good morning to you um, from the USA. Really nice to have you here. I am just ready to sign off, but you can go back and watch it on a replay. You made a beautiful little bauble covered it to, to show you how to make this one right okay so i'm gonna have to run i got to beat club right after this and we're doing pot in a twist there um natalie's coming down she's she's on the train as we speak <laughs> and we're gonna be putting our heads together we're gonna be working at 12 days of christmas i'm really excited for that one doing all sorts of projects again um i'm probably gonna have to give up sleep for some time for a few 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 weeks but never mind um it will be worth it and um we will be so sunday um i got my creation station on on my channel which is kitty robinson design so do check that one out as well natalie's gonna be here with me and like i think we're gonna do it together i don't know quite how but we're gonna do it together so so we see we're gonna be you, you're gonna be see us playing with all sorts of different bits of pieces on sunday um doing the creation station and Sarah, our lovely Sarah Millsop, is going to be back on Monday with you. And she's going to be showing how to do the poinsettia. Everybody have a beautiful weekend. Have a great weekend. Don't forget, 342 will expire on, on Sunday. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.